so at this point I've made a couple uh, NVIDIA driver guides uh, for settings and installing it and all that um, but it's probably gonna be my last one since I have a script to automate the whole process now um, so there's no real point in uh, making any more guides since you know this does it all um, obviously uh, just like my other script I'll probably update this um, I've already thought about adding like a, a little slider that you can apply digital vibrance on your monitors um, like built into the script so you don't have to do that in the control panel you can already have it done um, but I'm not sure if I'll add that or not I could but I don't know but anyways uh, this is how you um, use it and then I'll, I'll go through the code real fast uh, for curious um, so yeah I mean right now I just want to get rid of the old driver so we're gonna go into safe mode so in this config click safe boot apply OK hit restart it will restart into safe mode um, when you get into safe mode you won't be able to um, like search or at least if you've if you've messed with some things um, like the service window search um, you won't be able to search in here so just right click on this click on run and search for msconfig.exe you can see it, it's already come up for me because I've searched it um, but yeah that'll bring you here um, uncheck safe boot apply ok do exit without restart um, and then you're just going to go to wherever you have DDU installed and we're going to run this and these boxes won't come up but so here um, in options we just want to check all the video options and then um, if you're not sure then you can check prevent downloads yeah here we're just going to do GPU auto fill NVIDIA click on clean and restart um, don't click this button I think some people will accidentally click it um, and then wonder why their drivers are getting updated before they can install their own so that's probably why but yeah clean and restart it will remove everything and restart you back into uh, normal windows so from there you can go ahead and run the script um, you will need to be connected to internet so if that's issue or something just know that it won't work if you're not connected to the internet um, here we can choose between so I have the four latest uh, right here so this will change depending on when you run it uh, these may be different if new drivers have come out and stuff like that um, so yeah if if one of these isn't one that you want to install um, you can actually just enter the number in here so Let's say I don't know if this is a driver, but I want to do five two six dot like I don't know five seven. I don't, I don't even know if that's a a driver, but um, if you enter in a driver that's too old or doesn't exist, uh, you'll get an error uh, later on in the script, and it will just close uh, since obviously it's not going to work. But um, so yeah, you can enter in your driver here if it's not one of these. Um, I'm just going to choose like this one um, and then actually clear that box and check this one um, it shouldn't interfere if you click one of these and but have text in here um, but yeah just to be safe just have one of them if if this is if you have one of these checked and then you start typing in here it will uncheck any of these anyway so so you can check this one uh, if you want to strip the driver uh, you can if you don't use GeForce Experience I definitely recommend doing this just because it removes a lot of telemetry um, and just crap in the background like updater tasks and if you're on a laptop and you know that you need to install a laptop driver then you can choose this to install the laptop version of 
you know, whichever one is here. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna check these, and we'll do okay. And it'll install um, all the files that you need. If you wanna, you know, see more exactly what it's doing, uh, just wait for me to go over the code, and you'll see. So like right now, this is installing the driver from NVIDIA. And then here, it's just extracting the files. So if you choose to strip the driver, it's gonna only going to extract the ones that you need. And if you don't choose to strip the driver, then it's going to be everything. And here, it's going to start installing the driver, which actually I'm going to in the task because, um, yeah, obviously, I don't want to install the driver on this right now. Okay, there you go. So um, after it's installed the driver, it will uh, it will start cleaning up some of the files that it um, installed, and it will disable telemetry. Um, okay, so yeah, right here, um, it's just giving me an error because uh, it's, it's deleting a DLL file uh, that's needed for telemetry. Um, but I've already deleted it, so yeah, it's just giving an error. Um, so here, now we can choose to import control panel settings. So you can choose yes, it'll install some files, um, and it will import that, and it will do a couple of registry keys as well. Um, and then here we can choose to enable the legacy sharpen. So uh, that's like, if you go to manage 3D settings, it's like the old sharpen like this instead of the new like GPU scaling. So if you want that back, you can choose that. That's it. So, you know, pretty much everything is done. Um, MSI mode is set pretty like the only thing you have to do in control panel would be set sharpen for your games um, and change like some color things. Um, but I'm looking to uh, automate the color stuff too just because that's something that I always have to change. Um, and then also, I really don't know if this is important or not, but let the 3D application decide in this, like, a window is checked by default. Um, and I always have to change it to use the advanced 3D settings so that it uses all of these. Um, but yeah, I don't know if that really matters. But anyways, uh, that's it, and I'll just go over the code now, if you're interested. Okay, so here's the code as of right now. It's probably subject to change, but uh, yeah, this is running as admin. Um, this is getting the uh, the four newest drivers, so whatever they are. Um, this will add those versions to an array, uh, called latest versions. Um, and this is just a NVIDIA like database and then here we have the boxes and the names are um, like each index on the array so that's each version um, here we have those other options um, and then here we have like the text box if you wanted to type in your uh, your driver version this part is just unchecking any of the radio buttons um, if you like start typing in the text box. And then here, if you hit OK, then it's going to check for which radio button was checked. And then obviously, if none of them were checked, um, and the text box text is, is it like empty, then it will set whatever you typed in the text box to the driver that you want, um, and that's just checking if those other check boxes are are checked, and that's changing a variable so that we can, you know, uh, change some things later. So here we're installing 7-zip because we need this to extract the driver. Um, do automatically uninstall this uh, at the end of the script. If you already have 7-zip, it will, um, it will, like, it will install it if you already have it.
Okay, and then here, um, it's getting the Windows version because it needs that for the the URL that it's going to generate. Same thing with the architecture. And then here, if you choose a laptop, then this word is going to be notebook. And if you didn't, then it's going to be desktop. So, um, And then here, we're just actually downloading the driver. Um, and if the the URL gives you an error, then it will just display this. Um, it will it will end the code. This just waits for it to be done so that the rest of the code doesn't uh, like continue. And then here we're just uh, so I used to have this a little bit differently. Um, I'm just leaving it like this right now. Basically, it's extracting the files to a certain location um, with a certain name because I was using nvclean install files to do the tweaks but um, I changed how I do it and now I do it like in the actual code just all with the driver files and PowerShell code and stuff so um, here we're extracting it and um, and there, if you chose to strip the driver, it will delete some more stuff. So, like here, it's only stripping, or I mean, only extracting like the files that you need. And then from there, there's a couple that you can delete in the uh, GeForce Experience folder. So that's what this is doing. If you chose to strip it, um, uh, this is disabling HDCP, which is something you just don't need. Um, here we're actually installing it. So we're installing it with the, the clean and S command. So the clean install is checked by default and S. Uh, no window will pop up, so it's just in the background. Um, that's why I had to go to task manager to end it. Um, and then here we're just cleaning up some files. Um, I need to make it so that 7-zip doesn't get uninstalled if you already had it. but if you didn't already have it and the script installs it, then install it just to clean things up. Um, and then here we're disabling telemetry. Uh, I was doing this a different way through the driver files before, uh, but it was causing it not to get installed because it was unsigned. Um, but this uh, this works now. So if you strip the driver, all you need to do for telemetry is just get rid of this DLL file so that it won't connect to the uh, telemetry server. Uh, but if you don't strip the driver, then you have a couple more things you need to do. So that's all this is doing, disabling scheduled tasks, um, disabling a service, uh, the frame view service, um, and then also deleting that DLL. Um, and then here we just have the, the control panel settings. So downloading um, the the NIP and inspector from my GitHub. And then here we're actually just importing it. Uh, this is disabling the tray icon. So like down here, the bottom right of your taskbar, uh, it should get rid of that, but it never actually works. Um, and I don't have really any way to fix it because it's just a stupid bug, I think. Um, but yeah, it's there when it works. Uh, but most likely it won't actually work, so it's just unfortunate. Um, here, we're setting MSI mode, so you won't need the MSI mode utility or anything. Uh, your card will already be in MSI mode. Um, and all this is really doing is just getting your um, GPU uh, device ID, and then it's just putting it into this registry path, because that's everything else is the same besides your device ID, so uh, that's how that works. This is restoring the legacy sharpen, just a single key. And then this is, if you installed uh, the inspector, then it'll just clean that up. So yeah, that's the code. Uh, like I said, it'll probably change with new stuff being added or just me fixing things, but yeah. Uh, hopefully you enjoy. Hopefully this makes things a little bit faster.